Guys, I have to say it. I have to say it. We got the vegetables. <laughs> Just kidding. We got the meats up. Boom, 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 boom. I have decided to taste test every single Arby's sandwich and they have a lot. I think I have about nine sandwiches here. Let's talk about the ones I got, okay? I got the buffalo chicken sandwich, roast turkey ranch and bacon sandwich, classic French dip, classic crispy chicken sandwich, classic roast beef, a lot of classics, <laughs> smokehouse brisket sandwich, chicken bacon and Swiss, double beef and cheddar, and a Reuben. So I'm gonna give you my honest opinion on each sandwich, rate them from one to 10, let you know if they're trash or if they're amazing, at least in my opinion. So that when you go to Arby's, you'll know what's good. Now, this does not include the heroes at Arby's or the wraps. This is strictly sandwiches only. Also, I cut my hair yesterday <laughs> and I think it's too short and it's like really choppy. Oh my God, guys. <laughs> oh my God, guys, I can't stop looking at it now. Ah! It's like, oh my God, go back. I've been cutting my own hair for like years and this is the first time that it's like really choppy. So I'm super pumped. Um, if you're new here, subscribe to my channel. To me, take out for more fast food reviews, full menu taste tests. I also try brand new items. These aren't new, but it's still like a full menu moment, okay? Anyways, let's unbox the food. We're gonna be seeing a lot of meats. Prepare yourself a lot of pastrami's, beef, salami's. First sandwich, what is it? Let's see. Ooh, there's lettuce falling out. This is, I think, the chicken bacon Swiss, I think, yes. It has a nice crispy chicken filet on there. Looks great. Smells honestly very Swissy. Like very um, sharp and tart, you know? That sounds like a band name. Now this one is, I think, the classic crispy chicken sandwich. Whoa. Oh. The meats are already possessing me. No, honestly, it's because I'm having a diet caffeine free Coke. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. This looks pretty good. I am so hungry, guys. I just went to the gym. I did squats, which really take it out of me. I like get kind of dizzy sometimes when I do those. <laughs> so I'm like uh, a little shaky. Um, now, oh, it has some yellow stuff on it. This one is <gasps> the buffalo chicken sandwich, guys. I've never had Arby's buffalo chicken sandwich. It looks very orange, very bright. Oh, it looks very good. And then we have Ooh, okay, so I think this is the smokehouse brisket one. I think I had this a long time ago, but it's been a while. I don't remember what it tastes like, but it looks quite delicious. It's a meat fest, you know? You can't go wrong with a meat fest. <gasps> so this, I think, is the double beef and, um, is it beef and cheddar? Beef and cheese, whatever. This is like their like main roast beef sandwich. So this comes in multiple sizes. I only got one of each because I just, I can't buy like every single variation of each sandwich, guys. That would be crazy, right? So this is the double beef. Very excited about it. I, like that is like my favorite, like fast food sandwich. Like I'm not joking. It's iconic. And then we have another bag. Okay. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, she's ripping open. Okay, hold on. Wow. That was intense. <laughs> oh my gosh, give me a break. This is the turkey ranch and bacon. This one feels huge, guys. Like a lot of people don't know, but Arby's has like normal like deli meat sandwiches, not just roast beef. This is a turkey sandwich, guys. Wow. It's big. Look at that. That looks really, really nice. And the bread looks very thick. Oh my Lord. I'm here for that. And then this is the Reuben. So a couple months ago, I tried the double Reuben. It was a new um, item, I think. And I had never had a Reuben before in my life. It slayed me so hard, I was shocked. So I'm so pumped to try this one. Oh my gosh. Ooh, so there it is. There's the Reuben, sauerkraut corned beef and then this is it's a small one <gasps> okay so this is just a plain little roast beef sandwich um like without cheese 
I've never had it without cheese, so I'm pumped to try it. There's something very wet in here. <gasps> oh, it's the Anjou sauce for the, um, for the French dip sandwich. Anjou. So you dip the French dip sandwich into this. It's like a beefy um, stock, kind of. And this must be the French dip. I love French dip sandwiches. I hope that Arby's version is delicious. It looks pretty good. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna get my thumbnail and then we'll start feasting. Oh wait guys, I wanted to wear a red shirt for the thumbnail to match Arby's vibe. Let me go change. Okay. Do I look cute? So beefy, so meaty. Go ahead. Okay, so let's first try the little sandwich with only roast beef in it, okay? It looks very simple. Is there any sauce in here? Um, no, it's literally just roast beef and bread. Okay. So these are Uber Eats prices. Um, it's probably different in your area. Um, it might be different in a store. Just take that into account when I tell you them, okay? So this classic roast beef sandwich was $3.49. Let's try it. <laughs> that looks so delicious. <laughs> It doesn't, but it tastes good. Mmm. Listen. Arby's roast beef can really stand, I just spit, can really stand on its own. It is a tad bit dry, but it's not flavorless. The meat has this salty, iconic, delicious flavor. And it doesn't taste like deli roast beef. I personally don't like deli roast beef. It grosses me out. It tastes like raw meat. Arby's roast beef is really unique. It's something else. It is from a different planet. It's like alien meat. <laughs> and I just really love it. And even though this is very simple and it is very dry, it really does have enough flavor to carry it through. Thanks to that salty, delicious, meaty meat. We got the meats. I can't eat too many bites because I have a lot of sandwiches to eat, but I'm gonna give this one a nice strong eight. It's simple and it's good. And dipped into like a sauce, it would be even better. Bread stuck on my tooth. Oh, there it is. Mm -hmm. Next up, let's try the classic crispy chicken sandwich. Okay, so what does this have on it? So the classic crispy chicken sandwich was $4.49. It has a crispy buttermilk chicken breast with lettuce, tomato, and mayo on a toasted specialty bun. So it's pretty simple. Um, the price isn't bad though, honestly. It's a pretty big sandwich. How it looks, lettuce and tomato. Let's see that chicken patty. Has a nice amount of mayo, looks pretty crispy. Okay. Okay, let's try it. That's how it looks inside. Napkin. Um, mmm. It's decent, you know. I wouldn't compare it to something like Popeyes or Chick fil A or KFC. This is more of a simple, kind of smaller fillet chicken sandwich. It isn't like a chicken sandwich, you know what I mean? It's simple. But it's strong. The chicken filet has a good kind of chicken tender flavor. I do feel it's a bit less juicy than other chicken sandwiches and a bit less flavorful, but it's good. Um, the tomatoes and the lettuce taste fresh and the mayo adds that perfect little moisture that we need. Um, and the bun is good. So overall, it's good. I'm not gagged, I'm not blown away. It's simple, but it's good. It's good. Um, I'm gonna give it, I think, a nice 6.5 out of 10. I think that's fair. It's good. Okay. So next up, let's try 
Um, the French dip. Let's do the French dip, guys. It makes me feel like I'm in Paris. Good old Paris. Well, oh my gosh, guys. In a Titanic, when Leonardo DiCaprio says, good old Perry. I love that. So the French dip, let's find the price. Where is it? Oh, classic French dip and Swiss was $4.69. Thinly sliced roast beef with melted Swiss cheese on a toasted sub roll served with Anjou for dipping. <laughs> Lord, okay. So let's get a half here. I think it is the same roast beef from the main sandwiches. Oh my God, stop it. Damn Diet Coke. So um, the Swiss is kind of making it all stuck together, but that's fine. Let's first try it by itself and then with the old. Mm hmm Same roast beef. Ooh, the Swiss is strong. It's good. It's like a creamy, sharp flavor. And it does add something different compared to the normal roast beef sandwiches. So that's cute. The bun is much more dense. Much more dense. Okay, let's try it with the ochu. This is the main star here. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The oju transforms it! Hello! So yes, without the oju, it tastes like a basic Arby's sandwich, both cheese. With the oju, it turns into a nice, soaking, salty, kind of beefy oju dip moment. Like it tastes like a real French dip sandwich. It does. Um, the cheese with the oju really works. It's like the creaminess with this wetness is just like, oh, so good. I wanna eat more so badly. <laughs> I'm holding back, guys. Ooh, that is that is delicious. Um, so with the oju dip, I'm gonna give it, I think, a nine out of 10. I love it. Um, without it, it just tastes like a normal sandwich, so be aware of that if you don't want that. So, oh my goodness, I love it. So next up, oh, this is messy. Next up, let's try um, the main icon herself, the double beef and cheddar. Oh my goodness. So this one is iconic. I think that we've all had it. And if you haven't had it, you need to try it like ASAP. It's like an experience. So this has um, the roast beef, of course. It has warm cheddar sauce and zesty red ranch sauce on a toasted onion roll, guys. Let's open this up. Oh yeah, look at that. Let's try it. Oh my God. Oh, oh my Lord. Now again. Oh my God. One more bite and then I'll stop. Oh my God, give me that beef. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. So if you haven't had this, the cheddar sauce kind of tastes like a mac and cheese sauce. It's very tangy. And then this red sauce, I don't know why they call it Red Ranch when it doesn't really look creamy. It looks more like a barbecue sauce, kind of. Where is it? It's in there somewhere. It's kind of sweet, kind of like a barbecue-y flavor. It's so good. Um, and like that with the zesty cheese is, is like just a match made in heaven. And then all of those sauces with the salty roast beef, perfection. And then you get a hint of the onion from the onion roll. It's just such an amazing combination. A lot of people hate on this sandwich because it looks disgusting, but just because something looks disgusting doesn't mean it's disgusting. I mean, look at me. I mean, with this new haircut, guys, 
same situation. <laughs> so it's just iconic. Like, don't judge a book by its cover, guys. Eat it, try it, it's so good. I'm giving this one a 10 out of 10. We love to eat it, we love to see it. Next up, let's try the buffalo chicken sandwich. I'm so hyped for this one. The buffalo chicken sandwich was $4.69. It has a crispy buttermilk chicken breast dipped in spicy buffalo sauce with lettuce and creamy Parmesan peppercorn ranch. Oh my God. So it's a different sauce than the classic chicken sandwich that had mayo. This has um, ranch, which is a much better match with buffalo. So we love that. It's very messy though, so beware. Okay, that's how it looks. Look at this side, guys. Real messy, but I'm so hyped. Okay, let's try it. It's sliding. Mmm. The more I eat it, the better it gets. Mmm. Mm hmm. Okay. That got real good. So, first bite, I was like, I don't like this. Something about it tasted really sweet. I'm not sure if it's the buffalo sauce or the ranch or if it's those two sauces together but something was sweet and it threw me off. But the more I ate it, the better it got. The flavors just melted together into this delicious kind of classic buffalo with a hint of sweetness, creaminess. Um, the buffalo sauce really soaks into um, the breading without making it soggy and it really works. First impression, I was like, ew, but it works, guys. It's great. The bread is good. Lettuce is great. It's all gone. Ah. Um, <laughs> oh. So it's great. Not the best buffalo chicken sandwich I've ever had, but I liked it a lot. By the end of it, I was shaken. So I'm gonna give this a nice eight out of 10. Very strong, very good buffalo chicken sandwich. Love it. Okay, so next up, let's try. The turkey sandwich. So the roast turkey ranch and bacon sandwich has sliced roast turkey with bacon, cheddar cheese, ooh, cheddar, green leaf lettuce, tomato, red onion, and Parmesan peppercorn ranch. Love that, and it's on thick sliced honey wheat bread. I don't love wheat bread, but I'm fine with it. It was $5.69. I know that wheat is healthier, but still, it just doesn't hit like white bread, you know what I mean? Okay, let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Ooh. You would think it would taste like a homemade kind of lunch meat sandwich. It doesn't. It has a special flavor to it. So the turkey taste the the turkey tastes like really good high quality freshly sliced deli meat not like too processed i mean all lunch meat is processed but this this tastes like the nice meat you know what i mean the cheddar really comes through it's salty it has a great texture you can just like sink your teeth into it you get me um the bacon's really crispy the bacon is a bit too salty but still it's i'm totally fine and that peppercorn ranch really just elevates the whole thing and makes it taste just special. Like it has a lot of flavor. It's really good. And the bread is really, really thick and really fluffy, not dense. Honestly, that's probably the best like lunch meat turkey sandwich in the fast food game. It's really good, it's strong. Oh, and the onions are very crunchy. Love that. Tastes so fresh. I'm going to give the um, turkey bacon ranch sandwich, I think, a nice 9 out of 10 for what it is. 9 out of 10. Very good. Very good. Arby's has so many good sandwiches, guys. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Not sponsored. Um, 
Next up, let's try the Reuben. Okay. Like I said, I had this one recently, but it was the double version. This is the normal one. So what does this have on it? Let's see. So it was $4.99 and it says thinly sliced corned beef with melted Swiss cheese, tangy sauerkraut, and creamy Thousand Island dressing on toasted marble rye bread. Ooh. Let's try it. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> I'm shaking. Okay. So. If you've never had a Reuben sandwich, what are you doing? Try it. Especially if you are a person that loves things like pickles, this is for you. It's so tart, yet warm, yet creamy. The meat has a really good bite to it. It's like chewy, but like in a good way. And um, it looks pink, but it's like totally cooked, I think. And um, like it has this flavor. I can't describe it. It's like, it's like a mix of like pastrami meat, something else but like a lot lighter. It is amazing. And then the sauerkraut is super tart, super sour, crunchy, and just refreshing. It's like, ooh, a burst of energy. Um, the Thousand Island dressing adds a delicious creaminess and um, the cheese also adds such a nice creaminess to the sourness. It's perfect. And the rye bread just adds this nice background flavor. It doesn't take over. So this sandwich is perfection. 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. Arby's Reuben is it. So we have two sandwiches left, the smokehouse brisket and the um, chicken bacon Swiss. Let's try the chicken bacon Swiss now. So it's $5.49. It has um, a crispy buttermilk chicken breast with bacon, Swiss cheese, lettuce, tomato, and honey mustard. Okay, so that's very different. Let's see, there's the honey mustard. You can see right there. Okay, let's try it. Very crunchy. So, this one's good, but, hmm, it's a little dry. There's not enough honey mustard to keep everything moist. And I think it's because the chicken's crispy, the bacon's crispy. There's a lot of crispy things happening here. So there's that. And I feel like it's a bit too salty because the chicken patty's salty and the bacon's very salty. So it's just, it's a bit too much saltiness happening. Um, the honey mustard does add a nice sweetness that does kind of cut through it just a little bit, but not enough. Hmm, it's just okay. It's okay. So I'm gonna have to give the chicken bacon Swiss, I think a 5.5 out of 10. I think that's fair. Last but not least, we have the smokehouse brisket. It was $5.69. Um, it says 13 hour smoked brisket with crispy onions, natural cheddar cheese, and smoky barbecue sauce on a toasted star top bun. Okay, let's see how this looks. Ooh, you can see the crispy onions, the barbecue. Not tons of meat, but that's fine. say it's good i love the texture of the brisket it falls apart just like real brisket does love that so good now the flavor 
is a little too smoky and the smokiness tastes a bit artificial, kind of like liquid smoke. I don't know if they use that, but it just kind of tastes like that. It's a bit too strong. And um, everything on this is a bit too salty from the meat to the barbecue sauce, to the cheese, to the onions. All of it is a bit too salty. But other than the overly smokiness and the saltiness, it tastes really good. It tastes like a good brisket sandwich. So I'm not like disappointed. I would just tweak it a little bit. You get me? This is good though. I'm here for it. I love how the creamy cheesiness goes with the brisket. Very good textures together. I'm gonna give the Smokehouse brisket sandwich, I think, a 6.5. That's great. So, almost everything was so good. This is not sponsored, but Arby's really slays the sandwich game and they are underrated, guys. They really are, I swear to God. So, let me know in the comments below. What's your favorite sandwich at Arby's? And if you haven't been to Arby's, which one looks the best to you? Okay. Subscribe to my channel, Jimmy's Takeout. Um, I'll see you next video. I love you so much. Oh, boo, boo.